Good afternoon. We're going to do a quick preview video this afternoon. It's Wednesday. Our auction is next Monday night. There's a link in the description, and I'll probably post a comment as well. But this is as full as we've ever been here with furniture. Nice little Bombay chest. We have a lot of groups of good transferware. Love the stack of trays. Good patterns, good colors. Several original J.R. Hamill watercolors in the auction. The other thing you'll notice when you walk in the front door, the first thing is this incredibly, incredible uh, Champlevé, Cloisonne, Dragon Vase. It's probably cut down from something bigger at some point and put on this marble base, but it is still an, a stunning and epic sized piece. And then there are not one, but there are two Jens Rizzon desks in this auction. That one is a little bit bigger. It's more of an executive desk. They're both executive desks. That's just a CEO and that's the CFO. <laughs> I don't know. But they're both Rizzo, um, both from the same estate, same collection, the Levi Livet collection from uh, in the Crossroads. But you can see that the room downstairs here is full. We have rugs in the ground. We have <laughs> fire screens all over the place. There's like four or five fire screens in this auction. And we're still setting things up, but just want to give you an idea before the open house tomorrow. Wonderful Henry Don four poster. I've heard of these called rice beds or uh, plantation beds with the great carving. But not only is this a four poster with the nice car finials, you can it actually has all the pieces to make it a canopy bed as well. Didn't feel quite comfortable doing that in this place with as much furniture and other pieces as we have, but it's definitely all there. Another good slip shade figure uh, fixture. You see, this one has the cap and the base plate, the original iron finial as well. And there's a couple of extra shades. There's a few more, more chipping on this one, but still, you don't find them very often. Coming around this kind of folksy little coffee table and a really nice little Victorian love seat, we have another little seating area. Unusual blue and white uh, rug. And there's just some nice quality. 80s to 90s furniture which is 30 to 40 years old now which is hard to believe and say out loud and not cringe um these are this is all uh being sold by the levitts but it was in umkc before they just did their re big uh, renovation project uh, a nice little uh industrial type downtown painting spinet desk is kind of nice nice uh spool cabinet a couple of really good antique chairs. Rauschenberg poster is kind of fun. This French lingerie or French style lingerie chest is really lovely and much larger than you'd expect. I mean, this is at my eye level and I'm right at the top of the marble here, right? So you can see that this thing is darn near six feet tall, which is much bigger than most of these. Um, and it's it's 36, 38 inches across. It's a It's a big size chest. Uh, and you know what three other eight drawers one two three four five six it's like eight drawers so it's it's a it's it's a big big chest really kind of unusual nice big asian pot maitland smith this pair of doors is kind of interesting antique pieces for sure when they were originally made it's hard to say a couple of nice tiger maple chairs on top of that case a couple more fire screens these rugs we still haven't gotten put out yet. We'll try and do that tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, so you can see them. Some interesting rugs there. But then these showcases are really wonderful as well. Again, these are from the Levitts. They had loaned all these pieces to the UMKC. And then when UMKC did the big renovations, there are some things they didn't want or use or need anymore. And these showcases are, are part of that. Uh, the glasses are glasses there. Um, it looks like we don't have doors for this one. But they're both wonderful cabinets and just a really great display for your shop or your collections. Dough bowl is getting a lot of interest, great size. There's a collection of these enamel uh, soda um, laundry room sets. They're pretty fun. You can see that these just sit in here. Just hang on the wall and hang, you know, those are sitting there. But I think there's six or seven of those sets in the auction. We'll get the rest of those out here as well. Really dig the chrome and brass coat rack. Another nice chair. And here's the other side of the, uh, the second Rizzo desk. 
Again, just really nice quality. The Rism does great design. Wonderful Victorian square dining table. Big, massive uh, legs and scallions, 54 by 55, so it's not quite square. There are also three leaves. This thing will get really large. You can sit around, I want to say there was 15 or 16 chairs around it when I saw it. Neat little gothic piece. The beds, the pair of bed, bed headboards are really pretty cool. Uh, this is all by room, bought through room and board. But they actually called that the Sheridan Tulip Table. So it's identical to the Noel, but this is bought from room and board. It's a different little collection. Beautiful Ethan Allen set table. The chairs came out of the Kansas City Club when they had their big auction a few years ago. And then a big set of, uh, I believe it's Spode, Copeland. Yeah, Copeland Spode, Great Gainsborough. What's beautiful on the table. A couple of Kincaids in the auction. There's the first. And there's Spring and Leewood, a big Hamel watercolor. This Hamel watercolor it looks like it's a Florida image based upon the palm trees, which is not unique, but pretty unheard of. Oh, and don't forget, if you're looking for rugs, it's easy to forget when I'm doing this that there are rugs under everything because we just have so many. We're trying to get them out so you can see. The full house doesn't just stop downstairs. It's full up here as well. You can see that the room is full, the walls, the floors, and our new showcases look amazing. And a little bit more organizing here. It has a nice little collection of Majelica from a collection down in Emporia. This is where the Majelica comes from, and same with the Art Glass. This is the third installment of the Art Glass from the auction we're selling, collection we're selling from Emporia. Uh, this nice case full. Lotes, Kralik, uh, Durand, Acora. Um, there's some French pieces in there. They're just a beautiful little collection of glass. Love the Durand King Tut. Beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. Some other antique pieces, some styles. This beautiful, wonderful little cloisonne tea set is really hard to find. A lot of Schlitz beer advertising, which I know is not quite our normal, but uh, we're working with an estate that has some really interesting pieces. And when we get you know basically new old stock, it's always fun. Mm -hmm. The Noguchi lamp works. We just have to get a cord strung over here, and it still has its original packaging. This came out of the same estate as the designer furniture, some of it. More pictures still to be hung. Here's a wonderful palace size rug. There's a little bit of condition issues, but it is signed right there on the end. Um, it barely fits in this room here. More good furniture, a pair of French you know, uh, armchairs, nice chaise lounge, chaise long. Nice pieces here. These bookshelves are really nice and nobody seemed to have noticed them yet. There's two of them, one here and there. The cane doors, the brass fittings, the uh, rotan, fake rattan, full rattan. Just good size and good quality. So uh, those might be a sleeper for somebody. Blue and white stoneware is nice. Several interesting pieces. Nice watercolor drawing. The, some some uh, trade signs are kind of fun. The Calico Farm set is really cute. This is a wonderful little piece. Our consigner, our consigner spent a lot of money on this little shelf. Nice quality brass and glass. It'd be great as a display in your bathroom, the dining room. If you have a shop, it'd be great for displaying smalls on. Thone, chairs, more of the slits, including a, the only reason this is out of the packaging is because we had to take a picture of it. That was never opened before we took the pictures of it. Uh, Schlitz light looks it's brand new and it works all the way. And then 1916 uh, benefit quilt, basically from a church, recent regional church, candlesticks. And here's the our other new showcase again, more of the glassware, a lot of Schneider in here, a couple of Blanco pieces. Uh, I believe that's uh, Rinskopf on the top right. Danish flatware. A Myosin candlestick in there just because we had a place to put it. <laughs> that's where I ended up. The were Neiman piece, more furniture. Love the shaving stand and mirror. Nice quality, good looking federal piece. The nitty naughty is always fun. Showcase down here right now is full of a lot of smalls. Of, I, think there's, I think there's a couple pieces of Yadro. There's more Majelica down here that needs to be moved out of this far showcase. Some Roseville. 
Uh, there's Baroque, Wallace Baroque hollowware. And then there's a big set of Wallace Graham Baroque sterling flatware. So um, interesting groups of stuff there. And okay, yeah, these two lamps are selling with those three candlesticks over there. I'm gonna make sure we keep those together. Nice little prisms, beaded purses out of an estate. Uh, and the real nice beaded purses down here. Really like the Majelica picture set. If you have any questions while you're watching, go ahead and please ask. Zoom on the bottom row of glass bowls. Sorry, I missed that, Tamitha. Which, uh, which bottom row of glass bowls? The ones in here? This little bowl's there, or back in the other showcase? I'll keep watching for you. Hopefully you're still watching and have a comment you can leave again. We have more furniture, a lot of garden stuff. And then the 1955 Schwinn bike is really super cute. Uh, with the basket and tag on it from 1955. Here's the Kincaids. Nice little patio table and chairs. A lot of people really like this brass and uh, green shell light. It's obviously working all the way. Uh, I think it's probably a Laurel Productions. Neat piece. Nice little German uh, painting of a mountain scene. Very common image, but it's still a well done piece. The boxing prints, colored engravings, Victorian era, era are pretty unusual. Illustrations, men's word illustrations. And then we have contemporary furniture. This is where, like, the same place as the room, board, table, and chairs. The, uh, I think it was Creighton Barrel Couch. Nice sofa. I'm not sure who made this chair, but that's obviously a Norman Turner with the paperwork. Contemporary, but high value and incredible condition. The Noel Wassley chair. I mean, these look like they're brand new. And then the just tables that go with it. More artwork, good paintings here. I have San Diego painting right there. It's kind of nice. Uh, just a good looking portrait, uh, picture of the sea at night. These floor lamps, I just think, are really cool. They're brass cages, twist sh uh, staffs, and then you go to the other one, there's a pair of them. It has this like, swirled decorated base on it that's really unusual. These look much better in person than they do in the pictures in the catalog. There's no way to show all that detail in one shot, so. Um, just a great looking pair of lamps. This is fun. These are labels from, um, uh, I'll say, make sure I get this right. Chateau Mouton Rothschild, uh, from like 45 through 77. They hired a bunch of artists to do the labels. And so there's Miro, Chagall, Kandinsky, uh, who are the other names I remember off the top of my head? Picasso is part of is in here. Um, Salvador Dali. Uh, just all kinds of great. Um, Henry Moore. So it's just nice to have this all framed as one thing. It's kind of a neat little set. And again, more artwork. And I love the the Boot Hill Trade sign is really fun. The inlaid sign right here, or inlaid picture, is really interesting. Pretty sure it's a Dan Savage piece, although it's not signed anywhere. Nice hair is strong, black. And then there's some Asian pieces, nice little 800 silver little mini tea set or pieces right there. These are a couple of Grand Baroque carving sets uh, in the packaging. Beautiful Tiffany box. I think there's two Tiffany boxes in this auction, actually. And there's the other one. These are unusual. This set of six salt shakers with agitators is pretty unusual. Uh, King Richard flatware. And then there's a little group of jewelry that's still in a box right now into the safe. So that'll be coming out soon. Hey, Amy, where is the set of Grand Baroque? Is it? What's that? The set of Grand Baroque. Is it in the back yet? It must be. It must be. Um, so we'll get that out for the open house tomorrow. Open house is Thursday, so if there's anything you want to see in person or have questions, go ahead and post them here or send us an email, info at kcauctioncompany.com. Give us a call at 816-283-3633. As you can see, we are full. There is a lot in this auction. Several good quality estates we're working with in collections. 
And uh, there's just, I hate the phrase something for everyone because there isn't. But if you like antiques and collectibles, there are things here that might interest you and or friends of yours. Artwork, primitives, modern, glassware, silver, jewelry, rugs. I mean, there really is a, a large amount. There's some holiday pieces. The carolers are nice. There's a couple of fun uh, Santa Claus face lights. They must be in the back as well yet um, that are really fun. Lovely paisley right there. And again, the downstairs is still full. Another big coffee table, big blue and white pots, good looking. Some more artwork. <laughs> Our happy face balloon is still up from four weeks ago now. It's at least a month ago. Yeah, we had the uh, Innovator KC women through for a coffee meet and greet and uh, got that as just a, here's your at the right place kind of a Marker is still still inflated a month later, so that's kind of fun. But again, we're full, a lot of interesting pieces. Please take some time to look through the catalog. If you have any questions, let us know. If you're looking to sell things, let us know. We're always working on the next auctions. We have several on board coming up. That's a really cool piece of terracotta with the anchor. Have a coin auction going online probably tomorrow. Have a basketball card collection auction going online in the next week or so. Uh, we have an art auction on deck. We have another consignment auction like this coming up pretty soon. We've had several good things come in recently, and we're talking to more collections every day. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, good luck in the auction. We'll see you next week at Pickup, and have a great day.